Jordan here from Bike Camp. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use arcs from the 12 principles of animation in your character walk cycle. Before I do that, make sure that you subscribe to our channel below. It really helps us out and it ensures that you don't miss out on future content. All right, so let's jump in. So here I have my character and he's gone through the basics of his or her character walk cycle. So how do I use arcs? Well, I've gone ahead and added a red dot to my character's wrists at point one on frame one. And then I've done the same in frame two and I've retraced frame one's dot as well. And I've continued to do that for all of my frames or at least the first four. So the first four steps or the first four frames, which makes up our first step. And as you can see, when I join those points together, we get this nice arc here. All right, and then I've done the same for the second step. So as you can see, I've added point one here, point two, point three, and point four. And I've connected all of those dots. We've got that nice swinging arc. With the arc, it looks like my character is moving quite naturally. And the way that I've ensured that that happens is I've made sure that I've pivoted my arms, my limbs, so my arms and my legs from the pivot points. So we move our arms from our shoulders and we move from our elbows and we move from our hip and our knees. So that is where I've made sure that I've adjusted my character's limbs from. So. For example, if I wanted to add in some motion to this arm, I'm selecting it, moving my pivot point to the shoulder, and adjusting from there. That's where I'm swinging my arm from, from frame to frame. So make sure that you're moving from your joints, and that will ensure that you get that nice smooth arc in your limb movements. All right, so how else can we use arcs to check out if our animation is moving smoothly? Well, we can check if our the level of our head is moving in a nice arcing motion. And I'm gonna do the same thing as I did with my arm. I'm going to put a point on frame one and then frame two and continue doing this throughout the full motion. So as you can see, when I connect all of these dots, my motion has a nice arc to it. And that is what we want to give our character a natural walking look. All right, so that's all that I have for you today. See if your character can stand up to the arc test, see if their limbs are moving naturally, and if they're naturally going up and down as they walk. I'll see you next time. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Bye, everyone.